One of the most misplayed guitar riffs ever. And it's just a simple D, C, G progression. As you're gonna see today, there's a lot more to it than that. And what motivated me to make this video, I see so many people play this wrong. They just play it the basic way. Many people play it that way, they play it live, and it gets you by but the more authentic way is to play it with some feeling. Do you hear the difference there? It's an entirely different world. This one just sounds like a generic 80s strat with no feels. Come on, there's more to it than just doing that. We're gonna kick it off with the basics spice it up a little bit more. Start off by palm muting the root note of each chord, the D, C, and the G. Just doing that will greatly improve your playing of this lick and it makes it sound a lot more authentic. Now another thing you'll do on top of that, you notice how I'm not fretting the chord 100% of the way. This finger is kind of bouncing. That middle finger is bouncing. That's because it's not played in succession. Do you hear how the tone changes? Listen to the record. You're going to hear those little bump a boom. It makes it sound a lot more groovy. So I'm palm muting the root note. And that's three picks right there with the C and G chord. And that is going to take your Sweet Home Alabama to the next level. Just play it like that for one second. Now after that, I'm hitting an open G chord, just two notes. Because you're not hearing just the G note. It sounds fatter with this. And it's closer to what you hear on the record because you're upstroking. And then that brings me to the next part that everybody gets wrong. There's a hidden note you're not playing here. And that's where you hear this. Most people are playing it like that. But if you listen closely on the record, and you gotta listen to it so slow, you're gonna hear this. Now, isn't that something? And Ed King talks about this, he says, everybody gets this wrong. This is like the gold that nobody knows about. So he's rolling from a B flat into the B note. And you can see how it's played differently with your fingers versus this. You'll now use your second and third fingers on that second fret as you're rolling in from that B flat note. When you play it like this, it has a better flow to it, but it's also a little bit of that minor key infusion with the major key, because the song is in G major. So, try rolling in to it like that, versus playing the and that brings us to the second part of the lick. When you feel that, you gotta get a pinch harmonic on that fifth fret note as you're bending it up. So. But this one is not as simple as just playing the G string. I see some people playing it that way. You've gotta throw the open D note in there. So you're alternating the G with the D, and you can hear the sound difference. That 
that would be without the D note. Now we add the D note. So just before you're going to do the pinch harmonic right there on the fifth fret, you're playing an open D note. Keep that in mind. So when we put it all together really slowly with a nice palm muting, well, that hidden B flat note, that little pinch harmonic and that open D note right there, you get, a, you get an entirely different Sweet Home Alabama lick versus what you hear at the Guitar Center all day. Now I'm going to do a little comparison so you can hear the difference between what you hear at Guitar Center and what Egg King actually played. Now here is what Ed actually played. Now you know the real way to play Sweet Home Alabama. It makes it a lot more fun, authentic, a better sound, and you're going to be a better guitar player. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you in a future episode.